feels good. I don't feel like an alien anymore. <laughs> I'm able to get my social now. I'm able to get the driver's license. It just it made what what my dream was. It's coming. It's coming reality. It's becoming real. Right. So it's it's a fantastic feeling to think. You know, one day I want to do this, and it's always something people say. But the actual to actual actually do it, fall through with it, and achieve it. It's it's a remarkable feeling. Hello, 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 and welcome again. My name is Salon Phillips with Remus Law Group. And today we have a very special guest, handsome young man. Tell us your name. I like the young man part. <laughs> All righty. And where are you from? Uh, now I'm in uh, Florida. Florida. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your background. You're in business. You got a visa. To, let's start from the very beginning. Yeah. So... Uh, I'm, I'm the company Sassafire. We only work with software founders uh, where we coach them, consult them how to scale their company a lot quicker. And then we prepare them for an exit through our personal uh, investor group. Okay. So where was this business first incorporated or established? I started off in Canada, okay. uh, but we, we have investors in, in the U.S. A lot of our clients were in the U.S., so it, it, it never kind of clicked, you know, if I'm in Canada, what do I know about the U.S. market or the investors don't want to invest in Canada, you know, tax purposes and whatnot. Uh, so I made that decision to move myself, the business, my family to the United States. OK, tell us a little bit more about the business. What what you gave us a brief overview, but tell us a little bit more so we understand. So if a SaaS founder, usually a lot of software founders are stuck at that. 700,000 a year in revenue. They don't know how to get to two to 3 million. Okay. We have a team that have scaled companies. I've scaled my own companies. I've exited multiple companies as well, where I have the solutions and systems in place to teach them how to scale, get that to 2 million mark. So we consult with them. We show them the systems. We guide them how to do that, how to implement it. They scale that company within 12 months. Once they get to that million and a half, two million ARR, that's where I present them to my uh, investors and we get them acquired for anywhere from six to eight million dollars. Wow. Wow. Awesome. So this is what you started doing in Canada and then it opened up for you to start in America as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so you came across a company by the name of Visa to America. Talk to us about that. It's funny how... It happened because I was I was already thinking of the process to do it. And then I, I, I don't know where I, I seen them. I don't know if it was on email or on social media or something. I believe it was on social media. I reached out to them. What I love the most about them, they respond to me right away. That's that's what I I always like. You come sometimes you see ads you hear from people in a while. Right. They responded to me right away. I kind of you know told them what I'm looking for. They offered a, a, a free consultation call. I think it was within the next day or so. Um, and, and they helped me and guided me to what is the best direction to, to make that move. Okay. And what was that direction? Um, it was the E2 visa. They kind of explained exactly what's involved. What do you need for that? Obviously, it's something I never done before. So I didn't really understand half the things they were saying, but they, they were always patient enough to answer all my questions. And the best part is they do everything for you. Right. So they prepare all the documents you need. Um, so they made that process uh, a lot easier for me. And and last week or so, I think about two weeks, I got the I got the good news that it was approved. Awesome. And now what made you decide about to move to Florida? Taxes, weather, <laughs> palm trees. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot of positives to Florida. I know everything Canada doesn't have. Yeah, yeah. So you're in Florida now and you've started your your business. You started working out through Florida, even though you've already had an established business, unlike other clients who are just now starting, you've actually had yours established. Yep. Yep. Well, they uh, actually incorporate the company in Florida as well. So I actually dissolved the Canadian Corp. And now I, I'm purely on the, the, the Corp that Visit, Visit to America set up for me. Okay, awesome. And now when you went through the process, did you get interviewed? Uh, no, I didn't. Government? No, because I did a two-year one. Okay. 
All right. And so you got your approval. What was that, the whole process like as far as putting the documents together and going back and forth? I know there was a lot of back and forth. There was a lot of back and forth because I think just mine was a little unique. I was in the process of getting married, so I kind of had to wait for that and to get those kind of documents. But they they did it all. Um, you know, I did make a mistake in travel. I didn't know I couldn't travel, so kind of screwed up the first part of it. And when I called them, you know, they 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 could have, you know, dismissed my case or not helped me anymore, but they said, no, leave it with us. We'll fix it again for you. Um, so I should have gotten a lot earlier, but it was my fault. Um, and then Joseph just, he was, he was great with, with, with helping me out and kind of, you know, didn't even really charge me to do it over again. So I appreciate that with him. Awesome. And so you, you're a E2 visa holder now. How does it feel? It's good. I don't feel like an alien anymore. <laughs> I'm able to get my social now. I'm able to get the driver's license. It's just it made what what my dream was. It's coming. It's coming reality. It's becoming real, right? So it's it's a fantastic feeling to think, you know, one day I want to do this, and it's always something people say, but the actual to actual actually do it, follow through with it, and achieve it. It's it's a remarkable feeling. Awesome! Congratulations to you, my man. Thank now, you. what if you could say something to the people back in Canada? Give them some sort of advice what would you say to them well i've already been doing it um you know like if you if you want a different type of lifestyle you know there's so much that the united states in general offer that that canada has i'm not going to kind of get into all that but i always leave it off as if you guys need someone to help you with that process and documents and make sure you get the visas that you are you, you're looking for i have the perfect contact for it and there's a lot of people saying well i don't know which visa i need Talk to them. They will tell you exactly what you need, and they'll give you a, a very thorough step by step uh, in in how to obtain that. So I've already referred. Actually, was one just the other day. Uh, I was talking with the Canadian people that just moved to Florida, and the conversation happened. They're not happy with their lawyer. I'm like, you got to talk to mine. So literally 20 minutes ago, she messaged my wife for a visit to America's phone number. So we've already passed that off. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations again, my man. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Have a good one. All right. You too.